Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, in this video I thought I would talk about this uh, DIY 6x17 camera that I made quite a few years back. It's really a very simple uh, camera, box camera design that has uh, no focusing ability. Uh, this is set to focus at infinity. Alright, let's talk about this lens first. This is a Nikkor W100mm uh, f5.6 lens. Uh, it came together with my first 4-5 monoreal uh, camera that I bought off eBay. As you can see, we're in perspective of the skier to my fingers, this lens is quite uh, small and uh, compact. What I understand is that this lens has an image circle of 153mm. Uh, at f22 it barely cover 45 and it will barely cover 617 but for 617 i think it may need an image circle of at least 180 mm for 617 images taken with this lens it will have some dark uh, corners but to me that's fine um, in terms of the material this camera is made up of uh, thick wood very nice green wood which I have the timber shop cut to size um, the front is where the lens is is a 3mm plywood I can't use too thick a piece of wood here which the which why I never use a uh, thick wood it's because we need it to be thin so I use a 3mm plywood and um, it's actually no uh, advanced woodworking skill required I can't even do the joint so I just simply uh, use uh, screw to screw in the pieces of wood I also added in the uh, lever here so because this is usually mounted on a tripod so we want to make sure that the camera is level so as I mentioned this lens or this camera is built to uh, have the image focus at infinity so if you dig out the um, data specs for this lens you will be able to find the uh, French uh, focal length FML and then you will build the camera width based on that alright so this is how the back look like it's very simple there's two compartments here where the 120 frame spool will be and uh, I have some uh, brass corner to turn the frame from the left compartment from the left spool to the right spool right? so it's mainly turn and tension turn and tension right? So and this is uh, 617 in length and just now I mentioned about the focusing distance right to focus at infinity so this uh, is where the frame will be and that is the calculated to be the distance where the lens will focus at infinity so this is the brass handle I just cut off some uh, brass top and thread in a thinner brush stock and in here I'm not sure you can see drill a small hole and um, drill a, and shoulder a small piece of horizontal wire across it so that it will do the turning I have a spring here so that it will uh, spread down on the film smooth and that's the same for the other side here we have a pressure plate I have some, uh, I'm not sure you can see, but uh, two, two thin strips of aluminium strip that act as a spring and this whole thing, this pressure plate is actually just aluminium stock uh, this is the one I use for my red plate, so it's coated black in one side there's a small hole drill here, just so that we can pick through the clipping uh, hole to see the frame number on the backing paper of the 120 frame right? So at the bottom of the camera, there's a tripod mount here. You'll notice there's two brass uh, strip here. Right. This is so that on the back there are hook cuts two slot, so that it will sit in correctly. So we just put back the back and then just lock it with the two spring lock. Right, and we are ready to shoot. So we have a Pipping hole door here that we can just slide open to look at the frame number in this hole itself. 
I also built a very simple viewfinder for it. This is uh, actually a door viewer. I just slot it through a piece of uh, soft wood which I drill a hole and slot it through. Right, and then in the front, I just cut some black tape to give a 6x17 framing. So here we have the uh, hole shoe and we can just slot it into the hole shoe holder and lock it. So now we have a viewfinder. Now I have one of the neighboring uh, HDB flat, um, this nice blue wall here. I am uh, seeing some light and shadow on the wall uh, because of the uh, setting sun, casting some shadows uh, on the wall. So I thought I'd take a picture of this one. Uh, I think it will fit the 617 format very well. I'm going to do a incident reading of my light meter, ISO 400 at F13, we are having a speed of 1 over 60, so I go go for this, F13, so somewhere here, alright, and then 1 over 60, which I set to here, so I have a cable release here, and I just need to cut the shutter, and I'll be ready to make the exposure. Okay, ready and go. Right, the exposure is done. So I'm not winding the film to the frame number 8 for the next shot yet. Because sometimes it takes a while to set up the spot and all that. And the film may start to uh, so-called lag in the this portion. So I usually want to frame, frame the next frame when I'm composed and ready to shoot so that it will be tight, uh, tension and tight across these two um, so-called spool and the film will be flat. Okay, so let's look for our next spot. Alright, I walk to a neighboring park. Uh, this is the view that we can see here. We have water, we have bridges, uh, plants. A lot of people like panoramic uh, cameras because the view it gives them is quite different from the other camera like um, those that are in the you know, 3 is to 2 uh, aspect ratio. But again, uh, panoramic cameras can be quite difficult to compose right? because it's wide and uh, it's quite easy to include uh, distracting or unwanted element into the picture. So when it comes to framing the picture, we have to be careful about that. So I think I try this uh, composition for my second shot. I think it's uh, quite so-called simple. The only thing that I'll be careful is the lighted area in the background, while the foreground is more in the shade. I think HP5 exposure lightity will be take care of that. So I'm just going to meter for the foreground and then um, let the film take care of the rest okay so this is the third frame that I've chosen uh, some kind of a zigzag bridge in this garden it's white in color Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally do subscribe to my channel and I see you at my next video. Take care. Bye.